I've gotten a lot of questions in the past of how I would print PETG or PETG filament on my Ender 3. Well, I've got a couple filaments to try. I got Atomic and I got Prusament. We'll try these out and I'll show you my settings on today's Filament Friday. This week's Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. When you're printing with PETG or PETG, however you want to pronounce it, you have to run a higher temp. Now, right on the spool here, the Atomic says 240 to 265. On the box for the Prusament, it says 240 to 260. And in the spool, it says uh, 250 plus or minus 10. So same thing. So 240C is like a minimum for this stuff. And that's pretty typical of the PETG or PETG. So I'm saying you're pushing it a little bit to print it on an Ender 3 with this standard PTFE tubing. The problem with the PTFE tubing is it's a variability. The stuff that comes with Creality, some of it's really good, and some of it, about 230, 240, starts to break down. You'll see it crystallize, you'll see it turn black. Believe me, I got a ton of experience with this because I got machines back here running 24 seven, and I've switched almost all of them to the Capricorn tubing, which is a higher temperature PTFE. You're not going to get all the way up to the 300 degrees they say in their specs, but you'll easily get to 260, 265 comfortably and not see real breakdown. And so I'm still going to run this with the standard stuff because I'm testing this machine how far it'll go. But if you're concerned or you see damage at the end, you'll see it down at the nozzle, then you might want to consider switching to the Capricorn tubing. I'll put a link to this in the description below. I've showed this in other videos. I really recommend it, mainly for the temperature. So anyway, let's run these and see how they print. So the first one we're going to use is the Atomic Filaments 1.75 Carbon Fiber Black PETG or PETG 240 to 265 degrees C. And the other is the Prusa Mint by Joseph Prusa. It's a PETG Neon Green. This even has the QR code so you can scan it and get more information. 250 degrees C plus or minus 10 C. So let's start out with the Benchy. This is a print that everyone understands and most people have printed it on their 3D printer. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to use Cura 4.0 and I'm going to use my Magic 0.2 profile. It's the same one I used in previous videos with PLA. It's got a 0.2 layer height, three walls or a 1.2 millimeter thickness. I'm doing a 25% infill. And the only thing I changed for PETG or PETG is the temperature. I'm going to use 240 degrees to print. Normally I'm at 205, 215 for PLA. Bed temperature is the same, I'm using 60 degrees. Same speed as I showed in a previous video, 50 millimeters per second. So we'll slice it and it'll give us an estimated time of an hour and 35 minutes. Realistically, it's gonna take about two hours on the under three. You can see the speed changes in the different colors, but now we're ready to print it. Let's see how it turns out. So here's where it was with the PLA in a previous video. I'm not saying these are perfect prints, but this is what I tested. And here it is with the Atomic PETG. Looks pretty decent. Not a perfect print by any means, but certainly really, really good. And here it is with the Prusament. And this is really a glistening, clear filament. I love the way this looks, but it printed beautifully with that. So next, let's try the Marvin. Let's try a miniature print. I did this in a previous video as well. And I'm going to use the same settings. I'm going to use the Magic 0.2, the layer height 0.2, same outer layers of 3, same infill 25%, same temperature bump of 240 degrees. That's all I'm changing for the miniature. I'm not even changing the speed because the profile will automatically adjust like I showed in the previous video. We'll slice this guy. It's a real quick print. And we'll see how this turns out. Here it is with the atomic filament. Not bad. Now I've noticed PETG always is a little bit rougher for me than PLA, but this is not a bad print. The neon green is hard to get a picture of, but this is actually beautiful filament. It really glows and it's got a really smooth finish. So of the two, this one prints smoother. Now let's print this vase model. I downloaded it from Thingiverse and you notice it's solid. I want to print this as a vase. I'll show you how to do that in a second. We're only going to change the temperature to 240 degrees C. If you come down here to special modes, I'm going to use spiralized mode, which is vase mode in Cura. 
If you don't see it, click on the gear, type in spiral, and these two options will come up. Check them both so they'll be added to your profile. Now to use it, click the top one that spiralizes the print. The bottom one smooths out the Z seam. When you slice it, it's a much quicker print because this is one continuous stream of plastic if you're not familiar with vase mode. So let me show you in preview. If I slide down and look at this thing, it's one continuous wall of plastic. It's basically the nozzle just going all the way around the outside. In fact, I can show you that in the simulation. Here it is. You can see the nozzle just going round and round and round. It's a great way to test filament, and it produces some really cool prints. Now let's see how the filament turned out. Here it is in Atomic Pet G, and I'll tell you what, the camera does not capture it. This thing just glistens. It's really a beautiful print. The neon green is awesome. This would look fantastic with LEDs inside, making this thing glow. I love the way these turned out. So there you go. That's how I print PTG or PETG on my Ender 3. It's my same profiles that I use for PLA. I just bumped the temperature to 240, 245 range, and I usually am pretty good. Once in a while, I'll get a brand where I have to bump it up higher. I did get some inland PETG, and that stuff, I, mean, I had to run it almost to 260 to get it to flow properly, and still... It didn't flow the best. So that's a one filament I really can't recommend. But these two print really nice. I think these prints came out great. So that's how I print with PETG.